Emily felt discomfort in her stomach. She tried to look in her throat, but found nothing. When she shone the flashlight in, she saw two fingers. This is a horror film adapted from a true story. The movie started with Clyde and his daughter Emily. At a yard sale, Emily discovered an old wooden box. She did like it so Clyde bought the box for her. And from this moment, nightmares came to them. When they returned home, Emily asked her father to help opening the box. But they found that there was no way to open it. Emily was extremely curious about the box. The more she couldn't, the more she wanted to open it. That night, when she was looking at it, a strange thing happened, Emily was able to open the box. There was nothing special inside. There were only some strange little stuffs. Emily then found a ring which was quite attractive to her. She wore the ring on her finger. From this moment on, Emily started to become solitary. She was dumbfounded and emotionless all day. No matter what other people said, she didn't care. At night, she opened the box, looked in the mirror and sat there all night. Until the next morning, when Clyde came to wake her up. He found his daughter with two white eyes, which was very scary. He was extremely shocked and rushed towards her but when Emily turned around, Emily got back to normal. During the meal, Emily looked very distracted. Her expression was very weird, she looked like a doll. Clyde was very angry, he hit the table to warn Emily, but was stabbed in the hand by her. Weird things kept happening to them. That night, when Hannah Emily's older sister was brushing her teeth, she felt like being watched by something. Butterfly? She opened the closet. There were lots of butterflies inside. But in Emily's room, there were even more butterflies. Hannah opened the door and saw Emily holding the box. In a room full of butterflies. Clyde hurriedly ran in and brought Emily out. The next day, he took his two daughters to his wife's house. But Emily's weird behavior didn't disappear at a new place. On the hand which she was wearing the ring appeared a large bruise. At this time, she felt very nauseous. But there seemed to be something in her stomach. She wanted to vomit, but she couldn't. What was in this little girl's stomach? At midnight, she felt her stomach hurt. She really wanted to vomit. She used a flashlight to shine in her throat to check. But suddenly she saw two fingers inside. Emily was startled, she shone in again to check. But there was nothing inside. Was it an illusion? The next morning, Emily went to school with the box. During class, a naughty boy noticed Emily's bag. He told another boy to give it to him. There was a box in the bag. Emily then discovered that. She came to that boy, Emily now lost control and violently attacked the classmate. Which led to a meeting with her parents, the principal and her teacher. They then decided to take the box away from Emily. That night, when the teacher was sitting alone in the room, she suddenly was curious about the box and tried to open it. But right when the box was opened, she was killed. Clyde informed Emily about her teacher's death, but she didn't show any sorrow and only talked about the box. She said that her box was still in the teacher's office and asked Clyde to take it back to her. Clyde started feeling suspicious of this box. He took it back and attempted to dispose of it. But it was useless, Emily seemed to be connected to the box. At midnight, she fled the house and searched for the box. When she found it, Emily stood in front of it, and talked to the air. After that, she shouted loudly and expanded her mouth. All the butterflies in the box flew into her mouth. Until when Clyde came there, Emily had been lying on the ground. Weird things continuously happened to them making Clyde think that his daughter might have been cursed.